If you're a fan of these DD challenges that I do, I normally pick a civilization that's probably not what people consider the most powerful civilization. So I scoured the internet and I found a couple of tier lists, one by Papa Bose and another one by Peppermint Butler. They both had Gilgamesh at the very bottom. What? So then I compared it to my own tier list. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? This is the first time I'm actually revealing my tier list. And bam. All right, let's see if we can find them. Where is Gilgamesh? Is they at the bottom? Yes, there they are. And if you regularly enjoy this content, be sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. So here's our awesome starting location. Let's go ahead and analyze this to see what's going on. <laughs> Just kidding. We have a lot of turns to think about this. Turn one. <laughs> this is gonna. This is gonna be a while. Ooh, we made contact. Turn twelve. Oh, barbarians. Thankfully, we don't have a capital, so they can't see and attack it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ten turns to the area ends, and there's a barbarian down here. Okay, good. They left. Warriors will definitely capture your settler. Uh-oh. They came back. See what they do. Okay. So we need to actually move our warrior here. Otherwise, we will lose our settler. Lose a game. Turn 37. Okay, good. They moved away. They moved away. Let's just fortify. 48. Uh-oh. 49. They ran away. Most literate people. Okay, technologies. So the AIs only have 11, 9, 9, 8, 7. Okay. We're not too far behind. I've been be fine even further than that before. Let's look around. We're at fresh water. Just right along this river. I think, you know, we're not going to spend too much time thinking about it because... We haven't moved our settler yet, and we're way behind. We don't really want to move it. The only places we can really move it are this tile here to the wheat, or maybe even this tile to the south. But if you go to the south, I like, you know, I like going actually getting all those wheat sources around here. Oops. <laughs> Wait, is this a turn 51 settle? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, first misclick of the game. This is going to be great. There's already been two great scientists, three great scientists already chosen. Holy smokes. And we're definitely not getting this one. So great people are out of the, the equation. Oh, we can already do a policy. Oh, uh, yeah. This is great. <laughs> this is a really nice campus right here. This is a plus three campus. I like that a lot. Okay, let's go like this. We're, we're, way, we're way behind. Let's go for writing right away. Get pottery, then writing. I think that is going to be our key. But now the scout knows where our city is. Pyramids, great library's already been taken too. That is absolutely crazy. All right, there's an Eureka. We're already at three out of nine air score. We have to go for another settler. We kind of have to risk it. I'm really hoping there are no AIs. A tribal village. AIs around here. So the thing I really, really like about Gilgamesh, like people, you know, people are a little hard on him. But I think he's quite amazing. Let's just do God King. To get our first pan first pantheon. These things, these ziggurats, absolutely spectacular. Two science right off the bat. And now look, this has doubled our science on turn one. And we can build another one down here. Come on, something good. Recon unit. Is that a man at arms? Are you kidding me? Holy smokes, please don't find us. No. That's not good. Mapuche. Mapuche is the first one we meet. We got writing. Excellent. Let's now let's go for I think animal husbandry. And probably get an archer. I think we kinda need that. Come on, something give us like a man at arms. Free technology. Wealth consists not Free technology. Whoa. I think we're actually gonna choose Void Singers. Because we are playing with like every mode. We're playing Barbarian Clans mode, Heroes of Legends. You know, that should actually help us out a lot in this game. Because if the AI attacks us, like they're going to now, we could actually just build a monument. 240, we don't have enough to actually buy a monument. But we can just build one. And then get our hero really quick and help, uh, help us defend against this, you know, against this AI. Ah. Alright, we need to move away from here. 
I really want to phone the city, but this man at arms would probably just attack it and take it over. Oh, this is slowing us down. They're probably going to come after us instead of the city state, aren't they? That's probably what's going to happen. Yep. Of course. They just came after us. Found here. We get some nice salt to the south. And we have a lot of flatland styles for our ziggurats. And we can't really fit two cities in here with uh, kind of the orientation everything is. I guess we could fit one up here and the one down here somewhere, but our settlers right here. <laughs> Let's just found this thing right away. Oh, the man at arms is still here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Next era, medieval era. Just discovered mining. Turn 84. Oh man. Let's see what pantheons we have available. Alright, so the only thing I kind of see kind of useful is religious idols. We do have a lot of salt around here and uh, gypsum. So we get a lot of faith return and buy our heroes back in the future without actually having a religion. Between that and Void Singers, I think we'll be just fine for the rest of the game. We're going to switch out of the building the monument in this city and just go for the builder instead. We probably should have done a builder to begin with. That'll really kind of help things out expanding. And you should be working the two food tile to grow. Two food, uh, two food, two production. Much, much better. They will give us 120 science and we're getting nine per turn right now. So this is definitely going to help out. Melee strength, 36, 48 range strength. I think you should be okay against the man at arms. Well, that's all we really got. So we kind of have to go with that. An enormous Whoa, no way. This, you were in this game? Like, look at these tiles. Okay, we, we, our next city is definitely good on here. This, that could help us out a lot. Villainous. Oh, we're the first one there too. Okay, so Villainous was the, where the barbarian encampment was, right here. Palm Maker is in this game. Ooh, and they're super close. Oh no. galley from this clan oh that's it we can only get a galley but we can get man at arms for other stuff this is gonna catch us up in the game <laughs> 120 science 110 culture that is 10 turns <laughs> that's like it's so it's like nine turns for our science return is so so good let's see what everybody else is around the world okay um Classic Republic, Classic Republic, Classic Republic. All right, everybody's Classic Republic. So it'll be pretty easy. We can just use Classic Republic. That's what we really wanted anyways. And then the AIs will actually like us a little bit more because of this. And then we'll do the colonization card, urban planning for additional production. And then 3% production towards builders and charismatic leader. We're basically building builders and settlers as much as we can. Putting our first industry, we're putting in our capital for the 20% growth and three housing in this city. Oh yes, we. That's what I'm basically doing. Yeah, oh yeah, we're definitely working that tile. I'd rather work this one than the ziggurat right now. We're getting a lot of science, basically because we want to grow and get production as much as we can in our capital. Because we're building a ton of settlers there. We do not have magnets in there with the provision promotion. We are getting a lot of our science and faith from our hero. Here's some more. Ooh, they'll give us a thing of writing. Oh, should we go for a culture win? Huh. There's another one. <laughs> oh, we're getting rid of all this gypsum too. We want to have the monopoly. So let's see. Mapuche has the highest or most diplomatic favor. And their religion. Oh, is this one. Okay. Now for the resolutions, we're voting for salt for hopefully we get duplicate resources and then we could sell a lot of them. And then we'll just choose this one. Hopefully Mpuchi actually votes for their own religion. And they didn't. And ivory for no amenities. Perfect. That's fine. That is fine. Ivory with no amenities is perfectly fine. We could just sell 20 horses. Yeah, we can sell to them. We'll take that. We want gold. We can find our fourth city now right here let's just go for an aqueduct right away oh we can build it there i like that yeah let's go ahead and buy it how much is it that's not that much let's go ahead and buy this critical writing 
I like this. We already have two great works. And we've been getting rid of all the gypsum, I think, three sources now. Over here, this is your last charge, unfortunately. And did I hear a barbarian coming close by? Oh, it's just a galley. Looks like the Kuri Empire just founded an awesome city. Well, not an awesome city, but a city right to the right of us. So they are being somewhat aggressive. But I was thinking we change over to machinery so we can get cross run in case the Kree decide to attack us. They have 145 military strength. We're at 103. They're that, not that much stronger than us. But I'm going to bring this warrior down here. And we're going to upgrade that thing in three turns to a man at arms. We're also going to change a few policy up. We're not actually building any of this stuff, any settlers or builders right now. We're going to get a golden age in five turns with Aorans. Yeah, so let's go for Feudal Contract and we'll go for Serfdom because we are building one builder down here in this city. Other than that, I feel like we are doing okay. Oh, I forgot to get some open borders. We could definitely go for a culture win. Mysticism. I don't like how Norway has their longships right on their border, but I mean, if they just have longships, they're not going to do anything. But we could make sure we get open borders with everybody. Here we go. In the Renaissance era, is a golden age. We're coming back. We are still only getting 20.9 science return, like 105, 102, 164. <laughs> like, that is really, really bad compared to what we're getting. All this stuff is one continent. Yeah. So if we actually found another city like here, here, down to the south anyways, we're not going to get any bonuses for this one. So let's just go for monumentality. But yeah, we are definitely gen We're going to finish this theater square here. We'll build another warrior. And then, ooh, in a, in a few turns... If they bring their, oh man, if they bring, oh they, they got an army coming. Are they just seeing from the encampment? I am doubting it. Come on. Free military unit. Oh, it's a war card. The war carts upgrade to knights. So after machinery, you're definitely going right for stirrups. 100%. We have a couple war carts. Okay, I feel a little safer now. Still not 100% safe because they have a couple of vampires and those things have like 65 melee strength? Whoa. And 76 for the hero. I see where they move these units. Please go right. Okay, I'm confused. One vampire came to the left by us. The other one didn't do anything. We'll set the man of arms on the forest so it's actually a little safer. But let's go and found another city. Right there. And we should probably just go for... Minus one amenities. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Let's see what they do. Okay, they backed up. They backed up to their territory. We're at 140. They're at 206. We'll have a nice cross in here. Let's finish this amphitheater library. <laughs> We're so far behind in our capital. We have so many things to actually build. We want to make sure we upgrade this thing first. And now... You know, when you upgrade the stirrups, these things too, we should be okay to actually trade away. Yeah. Okay, so that's the plan right now. We're just going to, we upgrade all of our units here, and then we can start buying heroic relics around the world. Here's our hero. Let's go ahead and move you here. Come on, please give us like salt around here. Oh, that would be so good. We do have one, two, three. We only have three sources of salt. I thought we had more. Come on, something good. Gypsum, yes! Now I have one, two, three, four. Only four gypsum, too? I mean, that's okay. Let's get another builder. All that is this is the era Often have you heard that we're actually trying to improve our whole empire. <laughs> you know? Because we have, uh, you know, we are building all of our improvements around here. We're basically improving our libraries. We're building theater scores everywhere. This is going to be the era that we actually just start coming back. <gasps> Another source of gypsum. Oh, yeah. We got to have the monopoly if we improve all these now. There it is. First resource monopoly in the world. And we have one, two more sources that are not improved. <laughs> oh, yeah. 45% extra tourism. What? Nine gold per turn, that's it? Yes. All right. Okay, we need some more old Agatha and actually recruit some more heroes. 
We don't really want to take over Villainous, but what about like Uckland? Honey. Ooh, honey and honey. Two sources of honey. I really like that. A couple trebuchets over here. 540 to levy military. <laughs> we have a plan. We have a plan to take over Auckland. We're going to levy units of bonus Ares and then go right for Auckland because they have some beautiful trebuchets for us. Yeah. And then we actually don't need to bring all of our military units over there. Oh, and they have another source of gypsum too. Oh, this is going to be the best city ever to capture. Let's go ahead and do this. War with Auckland. We move here, here, and here. Get rid of this crossman. They're under siege. Let's go ahead and do some wall damage. Ooh, that's not that much. This one, I would rather kill this thing right now. There we go. And we could found our next city. Let's just go right where the game tells us to. Perfect. And we'll buy the builder over here. And then we'll just go for walls. Because you're all by yourself. <laughs> yeah, they're doing more damage to our trebuchet, but we honestly don't care. It's not our unit. 22 turns left. So we're just attacking. We'll just attack with this one too. <laughs> They're not our units, so uh, why not just attack? Land surveyors. This is what we want. <laughs> that is what we want. I want to make sure we buy this source of amber before the city states gets their hands on it. So 92 and then 140. There we go. And we move the trade over here. Yes, we can trade with Mapuche. That'll help out with the tourism game. 106 flat gold. This is 300 gold, so we'll do that one. And this should be the turn we actually take it over. Yeah. Let's attack with our own unit. We can't take it over with that. Go like this. Can't take it over with that one. Oh, what if we attack here? And now we can take it over. There we go. Oh, let's just keep this city. So let's, let's go and buy this builder. Get rid of these honeys. And let's see if we actually get another monopoly. How great would that be? Another catastrophic eruption. We shouldn't even improve these tiles. They're <laughs> quite bad. Let's see if we actually get this monopoly. No, it doesn't look like it. We're still only at... No, oh, 135%. So I think we got it. Oh wait, yeah, we have a lot of monopolies now. Let's sell our honey away for all this extra gold. Boom, 109 gold, let's just do it. That seems pretty good. All right, we have some great, we only have 26 tourism, but we have some, we have a great start here. We're gonna get some relics soon. But this era has been absolutely fantastic for us. We bought a settler, we founded uh, this city here. We bought another settler, we founded this city we probably bought about six or seven workers and improved all our tiles. We're actually finally working some of our ziggurats. And I was looking over here. We could find a city right here. We'll have one, two, three sources of amber just in that city. And another source of ivory. So we'll have at least two sources of ivory. So then we'll have four sources of amber. Maybe we'll get another monopoly. How awesome would that be? Oh, let's see how much it goes. So we're at, right now, we're getting 135%. Luxury resources from Monopoly. Let's see how much it should go up 25%. Let's see what is that now. 150. 150. That's 15%, right? Still quite amazing. We can just, let's see here. Let's just do it in our capital. Out of this room. And then go ahead and move this to an amphitheater. With all the cultists we're going to buy, this city keeps losing loyalty. We can flip that city over. How awesome would that be? So there was, I don't know, when the patch first came out, when you actually get Cultus, it was amazing. I had this game, I think it was Ethiopia or something, we are building a wonder, and then I saw America, like, way, way over here, about to build a wonder. I think it was like Forbidden City or something like that. You can just see if they're still building it, there's like, each wonder kind of has different progressions, and the closer you are, the more it looks like it's actually done. 
So I could tell by that they were definitely going to beat me. So I went over there with like five cultists and this flipped the city. <laughs> and when you flip the city, they lose all their production towards the wonder. And then we got the wonder if you should watch that game. It's the Ethiopia game. It's uh, I believe it's Ethiopia. It was, it was a lot, a lot of fun to do that. We found, I think, two natural wonders. And I think there's four for a small map, four or five. So if we just find one, we can build a scout. That's three air score. So it's way better than this. We formed a coinage because you need to complete three trade routes and basically everything else. So let's just go ahead and do that. But now more importantly, we can actually do a promotion here. Yes. Get these free relics. Let's just go here. 200 faith. Whoa. Kind of expensive. I think we're just going to go over here to natural history, get archaeologists. We're going to build archaeology museums in all of our cities instead of art museums. It is so much easier to theme those than, you know, art museums. And plus, man, I can't believe Mapuche's already got, look at this, three artifacts, two artifacts so far. Yeah, let's found it. Yes. Oh, this is so good. Let's just go for walls again because the city's so far away from our empire. Mapuche's are declared friend though. So they can't actually, 10 more turns, so they can't actually declare war on us. Let's just go ahead and buy a knight here. To make this city even stronger. And I guess we can just do an industry. Sure. I I don't know. Like this city, why is the barbarians not, okay, they are attacking this city. Okay. We can actually spend them to actually not, 450 gold to not attack us. Oh, we can buy a cavalry unit. Yeah, we'll buy cavalry too. Okay, now we're safe. Now this city's safe. Oh, and we got the twins. We got the twins. Oh, we're gonna get some free cavalry. Another relic, hint guide for Civilization Two. Just go there. We're starting to get some tourism now. We're at sixty per turn, with a nice paired bonus of one hundred and fifty percent. Oh, we did something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But we have extra quick deals, yes. Four gold per turn, that's fine. Everybody already has gypsum. Let's just do the 23 gold per turn. That seems pretty good. So we need more heroes. There, we're gonna buy both of them for six gold per turn and 29 gold. Sounds really good. Mapuche won't sell us anything. Oh, we have another one too, okay. 13 gold, I mean, it's still worth it. 13 gold per turn. Like, yeah, it's still worth it. Oh. No, our amphitheaters are full. <laughs> Is that a battleship? A thousand for a battleship. Ooh, we're doing that. We're 100% doing that. I hope it actually doesn't spawn it over here or something. Man, that would be the worst. Okay, let's do Let's do this. 1,027 for a battleship. Where did it put it? No, it didn't. It didn't put it here. Oh. Well, that's pointless. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get this battleship out of this lake. Oh, we're actually, wait, we're actually at war Norway. Okay. Cause what, they declared war with a friend or something? We're at war with Norway somehow. I don't remember them declaring war on us. So, <laughs> but it happened. Not that I care since they're so far away and they're not going to be able to do anything anyways. <laughs> this city state just needed three envoys. So I'm like, eh, why not? We, we had two envoys, but you know, we have the excellent policy call, card right here, Diplomatic League. So you only need two to actually get three. And two science for each great work writing, one science for each relic and artifact. Now we're up to 101 science. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> it's so awesome. Let's see where everything else is. Okay. We can go here and here. Take this one out for another free cavalry. Look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six cavalry from them. You know, I was just thinking, you know, overnight, we're not too far behind. But then you look here, we're getting 91 science return, we literally have one campus. And if you look at the technologies, we have 26 
Mapuche is at 50. They basically have double what we have. 43 and 36 for Norway. We're, I feel like we're not doing too bad. Except for Mapuche is getting 283 culture per turn. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's go ahead and buy this. Is this another Monopoly? Come on, please be another Monopoly. 150. 150%. I feel like we, would have, we should have more than that. I don't know what's going on. So for what we're, what we're going for, our civics, we just went straight for, we're going straight for culture heritage. 100% tourism for great works of art and artifacts. We're going to have a lot of artifacts probably in 13 turns. We're definitely going to have hopefully all of our archaeologist museums filled. After that, we're going straight for rock bands. All the rock bands are going right for Mapuche. Mapuche has already built like Broadway and stuff. It is absolutely crazy. 57. We need one more source of amber. I believe it's 60%. And one more source of salt. We have all the gypsum in the world. Okay. 25 sources of whales. Okay, so we need to look for salt and amber. I know there are only two more sources of amber. And they are way... They're over here. Here's the two, two other sources of amber. They're in Norway's land. Seven, oh, we can get some salt over here. We should just found a city down here just to get the salt. Let's just go ahead and buy a settler. We're going to found a city over to the right. You know what we could do? You know what we're going to do? We could buy this hero back. Let's do that. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to get rid of these sources of amber. You're going to go over here, get rid of these other two sources of amber, and then we'll definitely have the monopoly on them. Our first corporation. 40% growth, six housing, inner capital. <laughs> Seems like a pretty good, pretty good name. That looks really cool. This is the first corporation I think I've ever built in the game. 11 production though, that is absolutely crazy. Can we just buy these three? 56 gold per turn, where is it going to put it? Okay, put it here. Okay, let's go ahead and buy. We're trying to fill up our great works. Let's just buy these two things. 50 gold per turn. Well, we're going to buy from them because it takes away from their culture. It might be cheaper to buy from somebody else. But now if we look here, our great works. Oh, we still have. Oh, no, no. There we go. We still have our spot in our palace too. We have this musician. Let's just put that there. Boom, four and eight. Probably better to actually get a relic, but let's just put a great work of music in there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. do you know what we're gonna do? Do you have any idea what we're gonna do? We were expired zero turns. How are we still? All right, I think it's supposed to happen next turn. Then I want to get rid of this amber over here. We shouldn't be allied with them anymore. Okay, good. <laughs> We're not allied with Norway anymore. Enter the Atomic Era as a Golden Age. Oh, this is such a good turn. What should we hear? We don't really have any wonders, though. So it's actually not exactly ideal. Let's just go over Harpy to Steam. I mean, we could do Bodyguards of Lies. Let's just do that. Where'd our hero go? Where did our hero go? There's our hero. Okay. We have to get him old borders back. Three gold. Five turns until it's dead. Okay. We have to go back there. We can do it. We can get rid of it. Now let's go ahead and check here. It is currently, there's our very top right here, four out of seven. No one's. <laughs> oh, there's still four to seven. Okay, let's see. It probably's got to update over the next turn. Let's actually do goes to eleven for this rock band, and we're gonna use promotions over here, so we'll get through the Greece and Norway with this one rock band. We can go right over here, and then get the goes to eleven, and then we're gonna put you yeah right over here. Oh, we forgot to check here. Let's check. Four to seven. Yeah, it didn't go down. Huh. 
Well, there's two of them gone. This is a turn. A ton of rock bands will see. Come on. Oh, 50% chance. That's not good. Ooh. That was goes to 11 1. Another 50% chance. 2,000 tourism. That's much better. 26%. 187 tourism. That's it. So we get a thousand from this one. All right. Oh, for four. <laughs> the horror rock bands. And those last ones had like 25%. That is pretty. 521. Holy smokes. We have a long ways to go. We have a really long ways to go. This one's got to live. Come on. <laughs> Man. Our rock bands. Our rock bands are just bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's sixty, so that'd be a hundred and twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay. Alright. So for World Congress, we can see here Heroic Relic, we have ten of those. They're currently worth six tourism. If we double them, that would be an additional sixty tourism. However, we have almost as many relics, and they're actually worth like 12 a piece. We have 9 relics, so this would be a ton more tourism. So let's, we're putting all of our votes into getting relic doubled. Come on, pass. Come on, pass. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's so good. I was just like thinking, man, how are we going to win this game? Like, we are so far behind. Well, I mean... We haven't gotten a single one here this whole game because we've been so far behind. We're always like, you know, 50 turns behind. But otherwise, you know, we have to get 589 tourists. Now we're down victory in 39 turns. This is much more reasonable. So what I kind of did is I was thinking, all right, we got to build campuses everywhere. We're going straight for uranium and then going straight for giant death robots. We also already have 10 uranium because we traded away 20 iron for 10 uranium because Gorgo thought that was a good deal or something. <laughs> Which was kind of funny. But now I think... Ooh, we can just buy some more rock bands now. Come on. 50% chance. Oh man, don't die. Come on, please. Yes! Promotion! Alright. Let's get rid of these great artists and stuff and great writers. Done. You know, so I went to the giant death robot plan because we have no aluminum. The only source of aluminum we have is in Villainous and is suzerain it by someone else. Otherwise, like, we can't go for giant death robot. Like, I thought we would actually have to start taking over Mapuche's empire. But we have no, you know, source for bombers, so we definitely have to go right for some beautiful giant death robots. That's the only way we can actually do anything. 16% chance. We have a good chance on to get a lot of tourism. 2,500. Leveled up to? Oh, finally, one rock band actually is worth something, you know? <laughs> this is like our fifth rock band. Let's just buy another one. I'm so happy that that rock band is actually doing well. And it did end up restarting. Like, I played and I came back tonight because, man, I'm like, we got to get this game done. And it fixed itself. So we now have 288% oh, resources for monopolies. But you can see here, the global resources for Amber is now 4 to 5, so we have a monopoly. So the game did fix itself after he reset it. 9% chance, yes! Please don't die. 1000 tourism, I love it. Thermonuclear device, I don't love that. Ooh. But man, we have not built a single wonder. This whole game, this is showing you how strong Gilgamesh actually is. 262 science return, we're finally getting campuses around our, around our empire. We're going to get a lot of campuses soon. We do have 2300 gold now. We can just buy some universities, honestly. Oh, no. Our rock bands got kicked out of their territory. Oh, man. That is not cool. We gotta find another theater score. There's one weight on there. Okay, there's a couple over here. We'll just go over to Norway. I think we need to get back to the giant death robot plan. Ooh, we do have 4,100 gold. Like, that is a ton of gold. We are also unlocking social media. 
for online communities, 50% tourism output to basically every person in this empire. Oh, we gotta make sure we're uh, friends with Norway. There we go. We should make sure, yeah, we still have open borders then. We, I just checked quick last turn. Oops, I forgot to do it. And we should have open borders with everybody else. Excellent. Let's go ahead and see online communities. What will this give us? It'll give us a lot of tourism. We'll just give her a triangular trade. That's fine. We're getting 338 gold per turn. We don't exactly need that. That's what we can do to survive a golden age. Okay, synthetic control. Wow. Fascism, fascism, fascism. Okay, everybody's fascism. So we're going to do fascism. If you look here, you get minus 20% for different governments. But if we're actually have the same government, it should be zero. So with everybody, except for Mapuche, we'll have 0% penalties with our tourism. So let's go ahead, instead of globalization, let's go ahead, fascism, three turns, thankfully, four turns until the era ends, so I just barely caught that. My other plan is to get better rock band promotions. <laughs> let's just go here, and we'll do roadies. Uh, we'll do, yeah, roadies. That's pretty good. The other plan was basically, we're going to buy a naturalist next turn and see if we can still get a national park right over here. Thousand tourism? 1750 tourism. 459 out of 623. 623 is so much tourism. But here's an epic prince. 4% chance you're actually going to die. 12,000 tourism. Man, if we had what that one gift provides 50% of the gold for tourism, we would get 6,000 gold for that. Which we do. We do have pop stars. Actually, 25%. That's why we're getting so much gold. We're at 7,700 gold. Let's buy some broadcast centers. And then buy, let's see, there are great works of music. 17 gold per turn, yeah. There we go. That's our fourth our fourth broadcast center that we just bought. And we can't buy any more. And we bought for four great works of music in one turn. 891 for tourism. That's getting to be respectable. Only the there we go. And the <laughs> we have fascism. So let's just double check to make sure this actually works. Ooh, victory, nine turns. Okay, minus 20% for different governments. We're getting right here. So let's go ahead and change this government. Ooh, this is, is this gonna be bad for us? Well, we only need these three. Yeah, we only need the cryptography. Well, cryptography is just for fun. We only need the three tourism ones. And we can get that with fascism. Oh, just barely, <laughs> just barely. Uh, the military policies I really don't call. Levy and mass is the only one I really care about. And uh, there we go. And now see that 9 is 25% is actually gone. Oh, yes. Oh, we're still two air score short. Okay, thankfully. Thankfully. Oh. What? When did this happen? Okay, now we're one air score short. Yeah, we're definitely using you. Oh, man, now it's 75% for tourism? For trade routes? That's just so good. 3,200. Okay, so we have to do the backup plan of the naturalist. This will give us, I don't know, like four or five error score. Four error score. We easily made it to a normal age. We'll just use you over here. Not really many sea savvy resorts around here. 5,000 tools, that's so good. And there should be one more. Here we are. Our favorite one, Epic Prince. 4% chance it's gonna die. 32, ooh, that's not as good. That is not as good. We're now 509 to 641. Which one are you, Epic Prince? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to the theater square again. This one, Epic Prince has been it's so good for us. 14,000? So half of that is 7,000. Half of that is like 3,500 gold we just got from that. Ho, 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 ho. Look at how much gold we have. Absolutely. Oh. All but one foreign civilization. Yeah. Obviously. It's obviously Mapuche. Mapuche has been killing it the whole game. Let's just go here. 9% chance. Yeah. That's pretty good. No! No! 55,000 tourism. Oh, 15,500 15, tourism. We, I'm just so stunned. We lost them. I guess all the 9% changes actually added up. Goodbye, sweet prince. I feel like this wasn't too bad. We did really luck out with our spawn. You know, right here. The neighboring AI was pretty far away and they never found us. Neighboring AI to the left was really far away, and they dominated the whole game. Like, even right now, 763. I think I set up to, like, 900 once. They probably have all the technologies 
You know, they're it's still having to come close to winning a science victory. 75 technologies. I think that's all of them. We're at 51. I feel like we're not doing that bad science-wise. Like, we only had one campus the whole game until these last, I don't know, 10, 15 turns. But now we're up 339 science. There it is. That the is how you win a turn 50. And then I misclick. And then do a 51, turn 51 start. Let's go ahead and look at our ranking. Uh, we're down here because we never built a single wonder. <laughs> 725 points. You know, obviously, Mapuche was just crushing it the whole game. And these huge shifts are this policy changes. But we started coming up towards the end. We had a pretty good culture game. Like, look, the, turn 150, 170, we were in the lead the whole time. And, you know, we're pretty comparable to the AIs. As for the science, you know, we're obviously pretty far behind. You know, because we didn't do anything until turn 50. And you can see the little blip right there. But then we had to look at the first one, the best one. Total religious founded. There we go. 70, turn like 70 was the last one that was founded. All right. Thanks for watching this episode.